Well, howdy, folks, and welcome to... It's another episode of X-Tower Pro Adventures what? in Shrapland. <laughs> oh, God. Can you go somewhere else instead of just digging? <laughs> oh, yeah, in yeah cheers. We can't all be on little trips all the way over in France and Spain, can we? Uh, yeah, that's why we're not filming any metal detecting reality. So if you want to see Man of the Forest trips, uh, where he is at the minute, I think he's Spain, ain't you, mate? I think so. Yeah, anyway, um, metal detecting. Yes, we're back in Shrapland because he's still away. We've got nowhere else to go. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see if we can get any more shine today. Hmm. So here's our uh, first thing today. It's there. That's probably going to be a uh, bit of shite, to be honest. Probably shrapnel. Oh, no, no, look. What the hell was that? Well, it seems to be the back of a ceramic plug by the looks of it. Hmm. Yes, well. That's our very first thing today. Excellent. Uh, hopefully, that's not uh, a foreboding all that we're going to find today. Hmm. Well, my money's on a bit of shrapnel with that, but um, not 100% sure. It's weird. Never seen a bit like that. It's, um, it's copper, I'd say. It's quite thin. It wants to break. Hmm. Oh, it's a bit better today. Where's all the toasty greens? Toasty green? No, can't even say it because there ain't one yet. Where are they? Got to be here somewhere. I'm heading uphill because we've had more floods. Um, downhill's a bit wet at the minute, so I've decided to head uphill. Still part of Shrapland. Uh, yeah, I've already had a Mills grenade plug, so... In Shrapland. Oh. Will you? Oh, yeah. Yes, people, it's time for your favourite game, What's in the Clod? So, what do you reckon it's going to be today? If I'm honest with you, I think I can see something shining. I think. But I don't think it's going to be a... Um, I don't know what it's going to be. Look. It's quite thin. Hmm. Let's pop it. What's it going to be? What's it gonna be? Oh, well, check that out. Oh my God, that's beautiful. That's lovely. <laughs> well, it seems, people, we've got another bit of bling out of uh, Shrapland yet again. Seems to be a little tiny thin bit of silver. Um, that's unusual, isn't it? Looks like a leaf. It's broken up here, so it means it would have been bigger. Right, now let's check this area. Bit more bling at Shrapland. More Shrapland shine. <laughs> oh, and it was going so, so, um, yeah, lots of shrapnel up this end. Oh, cool. Brilliant. Let's get on with it. Yeah, thin, little bit of sh uh, silver. Hopefully there's some more just here. Let's find out. Well, I've either just found a ball ring or part of an annular brooch, but... It's more than likely a ball ring. Um, if you can see it, it's thinner there, like it was a a buckle or had some on there. I ain't got a clue. Thin bit of bronzy uh, stuff. Hmm. Yeah, it's going very slow today. Lots of shrapnel. Um, shrapnel. <laughs> you. It's time for your favourite game. What's in the cloud? Yeah, yeah. Cheers for that, mate. Cheers. Yeah. What? So, what do you reckon it's going to be this time? Um, I'm praying it's coin. Not pops it yet. Let's pop it. Oh, uh, what the? Oh, well, there's something different. We've got a little badge of some kind. Well, that's quite nice. I'm not going to clean that up now because I think I've still got some enamel on it. Yeah, we'll leave that. That is nice. That looks like a little cat badge. I'm pretty sure that's cat badge. Oh, wow. Check that out. That's a thing of beauty. 
Wow. That's beautiful. I think my brother's gonna want that off me. I know what he's like for this type of stuff. Yeah, oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. That um, I'll put that in the good tub and give that a very gentle clean when I get back with the uh, soft toothbrush or maybe even just a soft uh, paintbrush. Mmm, that's nice. Beautiful little thing. Beautiful little uh, cat badge, like I say. Now I dropped it back in the old bugger. Well, I thought I'd just nip up and check on the earth lodge. Uh, so they ain't doing too much damage at the minute. Could have at least have cleaned your bean cans up, you silly buggers. Fire's still hot. Oh, that's not one of my cobbles. Left the grill out. Yeah, so I thought I'd just nip up. Keep smelling fire. It probably is what's coming from this fire, but at least uh, don't look like keep cutting trees down anymore. Thanks, lads. Like I say, plenty of standing dead wood in here. Survive for bloody ages. Uh, yeah. So, all right, let's get back out there and get on with detec detecting now. I've made sure that there isn't a fire going up here. Well, proper one. If you're going to use that, lads, put the bastard back. Well, I'm going to film it because that's my first button. Still no coins. But we've got a button. Uh, I've got a funny feeling. Man of the forest has jinxed me. Thanks, mate. Yeah, thanks. Have a good trip. Oh, just getting a bit of shine at the end of the day. Not what I've wanted, but you know. There we go. <laughs> That'll be uh, this week's um, uh, thumbnail. Well, it's been a fair old while since we've seen him. But guess who's just popped out to say hello? Hope you're digging well, guys. Yes, well, nice musket ball there. So, get on with it. Hallelujah, it's a modern penny. Thank the f... Because I didn't think we'd get any coins. Uh, yeah. It's uh, just a, a modern Queen Elizabeth uh, penny. But, actually, we've had no coins. I thought I'd better film it, just in case. <laughs> but next to that penny, there's another penny. Impression! Well, folks, it's just got a... Uh, looks like a copper tube of some kind. Don't think it's a, a spent bullet or anything like that. Unknown. It's not going very well. The sky's going greyer and it's starting to rain. So I might drag this over. On to another episode, or might not. We'll see. I'm going to grab the bag and start walking back. I'm getting hungry and thirsty. I need to sort the parrots out. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. Not a brilliant trip, people. Well, that was a deep signal. I was thought it was going to be iron because there was lots of rusty stuff coming up. But it's actually something good. Um, it's made of bronze. This, I'm pretty sure as I've got several hundred of them, um, is a cauldron leg. It's an old pot leg, bronze pot leg. Uh, yeah. Had a few of these over the years, quite like them. I've got a collection, I like collecting legs. You'll have to see my legs later. Um, not them ones. Uh, yeah. That's nice. Old cauldron foot, or pot foot. Yay. So a bit older. Uh, uh, age for that, I'm going to say medieval and before. So, yeah, nice. Nice deep signal. Got to be, what, good 18 inches down there. Brilliant. Something a bit better. That's cheered me up a bit. Shit gun cap. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'm making that last hole. Uh, what a beautiful sunset we've got. Um, can't see the sunset, but the, the sky is such a beautiful colour tonight. Beautiful orangey, uh, yeah, nice that. Right, see you all at show and tell. I'm going to have a short one today, bugger it. Well, folks, welcome back. And it wasn't all that bad. We got some okay bits in the end, so uh, let's have a look at what we got in amongst all of the shrapnel. And there was quite a bit of shrapnel again. My bag was heavy on the way back, so yeah, 
Let's get on with it. Let's have a look. Get on with it. So as per the usual, starting with the uh, crapnel and shrapnel. Uh, yeah, there's the crap. You've pretty much seen it all. There's the shrap. Uh, mil um, mills grenade plugs, mills grenade caps, thinning off a mortar, unknown thing, and lots of fragmented bits of uh, shrapnel. Yes. Mmm. So let's do the slightly better things. Uh, yeah. Well, unusual piece of lead got to holes uh, hammered in it yeah this unusual thing uh, i thought it was just going to be a bit of shrapnel there's a couple of bits in here that we thought were shrapnel um yeah didn't know what that is weird bit of thin coppery bronze little fragment of buckle which in the field I actually thought was a piece of lead. How light that was. I thought that was lead. But yeah, turns out to be probably a little fragment of shoe buckle. This bronze ringy thing. Well, I don't know. It's unusual how it thins down just there. Hmm. Another unusual part of fact. Uh, 7p in modern coinage, uh, the little dome button, the single button of the day, very unusual day, no coins apart from them three modern crap, uh, little bullet, it's a nice little bullet, little um, brass bullet, bronze bullet, Mr. Musket Ball, Yes, it was nice to see him. And then this unusual, which I thought was going to be another piece of um, uh, shrapnel. Uh, some unusual piece of bronze. Don't know what it is. Very strange. If you know, comment below, because I haven't got a clue. It's another one of them weirdities, oddities, thingamobs, what's the McCall's. And talking about weird um, uh, bronze things. So the last thing we found was uh, this pot leg. Now it is bronze. I know it looks like it's iron, but it's bronze. Um, now how do I know it's a pot leg? Well, let me show you my legs. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. So here's just a collection of some of the pot legs I've found over the years. All made of bronze. Every time you find something like this, when you pull it out of the ground, you're like, oh, is it an axe? No, it's not an axe, it's a pot leg. So yeah, the one we got today, it's a bit, um, could be a bit mixed metal. That's why there's a bit of iron coming through. But yeah, it's definitely a pot leg. And like I said, in the field, possibly medieval or older. So, another nice artefact of such. Cool. All right, let's move on to the last and best bits. So, let's have a look at the best bits of the day. We got another bit of uh, shrapland shine. Can't see any hallmarks on it. It's definitely silver. I've done a little test with the... Um, Tin foil and uh, saliva. But yeah, definitely silver. What it would have been, I don't know. Uh, my phone's being a bit of a bitch tonight. Again. Uh, doesn't want to do the focusing thing. Yeah. Something tells me it could have been. Could have been a decorated spoon. Or something like that. But. Bit of shrapland shine. And as I didn't do it in the field, but I do it now. Bling! Cool. Excellent. And the best thing, what well, I think, anyway, is this. It's the... Um, Junior Imperial and Conservative League. Found a better picture on eBay. Somebody's got one on eBay. 
found a better picture, so I'll put that up now. And then, uh, yeah, found out this. The Junior Imperial and Conservative uh, League was a political youth organisation founded in 1906 by a Conservative and Unionist Party, which aimed to involve youth in political and political things. So even though my one's not in as good a nick as the other photo, it's still a beautiful thing. Happy with that. Uh, happy with my little bit of silver. Cool. So not a bad adventure, really. I know it was only a little one. We only got a couple of bits, but that badge makes up for it. It's quite cool. I know it's a bit political, but <laughs> yes. So uh, what well, I've got to say this week, uh, if you've not checked out his channel, I know I've been ripping him today, but you know, good mate of mine. Go and check out Man of the Forest channel. Go and see some of his uh, his trip videos, his traveling solo in his van around Europe. Yeah, how you're up back? Really want to go and do some metal detective reality. You know, we're stuck on twenty two. Want to go and do twenty three? Might do it with somebody else if you don't get back soon. Um, yeah. Anyway, go and check out his channel, Man of the Forest. Go and see some of his videos if you're not watched them yet. I mean, the one where he's caving, insane. Um, right. Anyway. Carry on liking, carry on subscribing, carry on hitting the silly bell thing. Uh, the, the ding. Uh, hello to new subscribers, hello to old subscribers. No shout outs for anybody because I can't think of any more stuff to say. My brain's gone again. <laughs> right, until the next one, folks. Tatty bye, and thanks for coming.